Okay, so we've got a problem with this toilet. It's continuously flushing, as you can probably hear. So let's take a look inside the system. Take this off. We can hear and see flowing the water out. The water is actually going down the centre of that section there, straight back into the toilet. So it never fills back up. So all we need to do is take this apart a little bit and see what we can do with it. So the first thing to do is that centre portion actually twists off like a bayonet uh, fixing. So we'll take that out. So we'll first we'll turn the water off, uh, which is on a tap on the side there. Okay, so the water's off. Take the lid off here. Put my hand in. I'm just going to turn that centre section enough, and then that unclips. Okay. So here is that centre section. So I just twisted it, and it comes straight up, straight out. And we can see at the bottom here. So that is the washer at the bottom. Make sure that that's all clean and there's nothing obstructing it. Um, mine looks fine, so there's nothing uh, a problem there. Then if you just let that go, check inside. So down at the bottom, you should find nothing obstructing it down there either. Um, down in this bit here. So I've checked that, it's no problem. So in mine, the issue is that the red bit here that moves moves up and down isn't providing enough pressure um, to this washer down at the bottom to stop the water flowing back down into the toilet which is why I kind of jerry-rigged uh, this peg which had a weight on top before so I'm going to change that out and uh, have it so that we can actually configure the amount of weight that's being push, pushing down on there so you don't have to replace that for now um, but if you did need to replace it it's, it's pretty easy just get another one of these and then like I say it's kind of like that bayonet fitting so you just pop it down and twist it and then it's back in so it should be easy to replace if we need to so let's get the weights in place so what we're going to do is take uh, just a bit of wire so in this case I've got uh, just a, a bit from a coat hanger twisted it over to to make a hook and we've got a bit where we can actually stick these metal washers so the more washers you put on, obviously the more weight it's going to be. And we're going to hook that over the top here. And then that pulls that whole centre section down uh, and provides the weight to stop the, uh, the water from flowing back into the toilet. So let that, let's get that hooked up. So we'll get this back in. So we're pushing that back down again. Okay, so that's clicked back into place, and what we're going to do is take the weight, just put it on the side there. And you can see what I can do is just add more weight to that until the water flow stops going into the toilet. So we're going to turn the water back on now that the whole thing's fitted back in, and then start increasing the, uh, the number of washers that will weigh that thing down. It's not enough for now, so let's add a few more. And that's actually done the job. So we've got maybe six of those quite heavy washers and that's pushing down, providing a bit more pressure onto the rubber seal down at the bottom. And that toilet system's filling up quite nicely now. Okay, well that's it. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how to fix yours. Uh, let me know in the comments how you get on.